Hi, in this video we are going to use a picture called an array to help us understand why partial products work. So let's start off with an example. Let's do the problem 24 times 3. Now 24 is a large number, so I'm going to break it up into two numbers that are easier to multiply. 24 is the same as 20 plus 4. And 20 and 4 are both easier to multiply than 24 itself. So let's show a picture of 24 times 3. This rectangle is called an array and it represents the multiplication 24 times 3 because the rectangle is 10, 20, 24 units long and it's 3 units wide. So this it is the same as this multiplication problem 24 times 3. But what I'm going to do is take the rectangle and break it up right along this line because on this side of the line there are 20 units and on the other side of the line there are only 4 units. And so here you see how I've taken the 24 and broken it up into 20 plus 4. Now this rectangle is still 3 units high and so each of my two smaller rectangles are still both three units high as you can see here. Now I'm going to go ahead and shade the smaller portion of the rectangle a different color. Now if I want to find the area of the darker blue rectangle I know that it is 20 units long and three units high so I would take 20 times 3 which is my first partial product and I know that 3 times 20 is 60 because 2 times 3 is 6 and there's one zero in my problem so there's one zero in my answer. I can write the partial product here 3 times 20 is 60. But I haven't found the area of the entire rectangle I've only found the area of the larger part. Now let's find the area of this lighter blue uh, part of the rectangle which is 4 units long and 3 units high. So the area of this rectangle is 4 times 3 or 12. Now I can write this partial product 3 times 4 underneath. 3 times 4 is 12 and I line that up underneath the 60. To find my total area of the rectangle I just add my two partial products back together. And 60 plus 12 is 72 so the area of the entire rectangle is 72 square units, just like 24 times 3 is 72.